Hello my dear students, I am Priyanka Raj Bhandari and in this video I will be discussing chapter 2 of science of class 4 standard which is food and digestion. So food and digestion as we all know that it is one of the most important chapter included in science subject. So I have divided this chapter into different subtopics which we will be discussing and I will make you understand through different videos. So let us proceed to the first video of this chapter. So you can see that this is the first slide of this chapter, food and digestion. Now let us discuss about the chapter. The first topic we will be discussing is why do we need food? So students, we all know that we can't live without food. Food is the most important thing that is required in our daily life. So the question comes, why do we need food? To answer this basic question, we will all reply that food gives us energy. Food helps us in growing. Food keeps us healthy. But there are few things you need to know why food is needed. So, in this slide you can see that it is written, why do we need food? So, discussing regarding this, at the first point you can see that we need food to give us energy. Food provides us energy that helps us to do various work like to play, to read, to eat, sing, dance, etc. Second point is that we need food to keep us healthy. Third, we need food in order to repair and build damaged and worn out tissues. We all know that our body is made up of cells and tissues. So in order to repair and replace the worn out tissues, food is needed. And last but not the least, we need food to grow. Grow. So till now, we have learned the necessity of food. That is, why do we need food? So there must be something inside the food that is giving us energy, maintaining our body and keeping us fit and fine. In order to maintain different requirements of body, we need to eat different types of food items containing different types of nutrients. So in this slide, we can see different types of nutrients such as water, minerals, vitamins, carbohydrates, protein and fat. These are the different types of nutrients we will be discussing one by one. In this slide, we will be discussing regarding most important nutrient that is carbohydrate. In the figure, in the right hand side, we can see the different sources of carbohydrate which are rice, wheat and sweets which are mentioned in the fourth point. In the first point, function of carbohydrate is mentioned and the most important function of carbohydrate is it provides us energy to do different types of work and they are needed in large quantities. That means we usually take rice and wheat in large amount in compare with other types of food. And in the third point, these are the forms of carbohydrate that are sugar and starch. So sugar and starches are the different forms of carbohydrate. And in the last point, as I have already mentioned, these are the sources of carbohydrate, wheat, rice and sweets. Now, 
let us go to another type of nutrient that are proteins in the first point we can see the function of proteins protein help to repair and build parts of our body we all know that we go through different phases of growth and development and this phase is proteins are the main nutrients that help us to grow and build different parts of body and when we talk about its quantities proteins are needed in lesser amount than carbohydrate that is mentioned in the second point of this slide sources of proteins are fish eggs meat pulses etc so in order to get proper amount of protein you need to have this type of food you can see the figure in your slide now let us discuss about vitamins which are the most important type of nutrients so the function of vitamins are they protect body from different types of diseases keeping us healthy so in the figure you can see the sources of vitamins are fruits and vegetables so you need to eat proper amount of fruits and vegetables in order to stay healthy and fit vitamins are also required in smaller quantities with respect to carbohydrate now in this slide we will be going through another important type of nutrients that are minerals so the function of minerals are it helps to keep our teeth and bones stronger and there is another important function that is minerals improve the quality of blood example of minerals are iron and calcium calcium are the minerals which help to keep our teeth and bones stronger and iron are the minerals that helps to improve the quality of our blood so the sources of minerals are milk and green vegetables milk is the source of calcium rich minerals and green vegetables are the sources of iron in this slide i will be telling you about last type of nutrient that is fat so the function of fat is fat provide more energy than carbohydrate and help to keep our body warm but they are needed in very smaller quantity sources of fat as you can see in the figure are butter oil ghee etc which you need to have in very smaller quantities with respect to other type of nutrients so students till now we have learned regarding the different type of nutrients and the amount they should be taken as i have already mentioned that there are certain nutrients like carbohydrate which are required in larger proportion and some nutrients like fats and minerals should be taken in smaller proportion therefore in order to stay healthy and free from diseases we need to have all these nutrients in proper proper that is known as balanced diet so students you can see the figure different types of nutrients which are carbohydrates proteins fats minerals and vitamins these are the nutrients which are required in different proportion carbohydrates and vitamins are the nutrients required in larger quantities then comes proteins and fats are the nutrients which are required in very smaller quantity so in order to stay healthy 
these nutrients are to be taken in correct proportion that is known as balanced diet when we have to describe what is balanced diet balanced diet are the diet or meal that contains all the nutrients in right proportion so in the next class i will be discussing regarding the digestive system of human body so till then stay safe stay home and stay healthy